You know, there's a great, big, wonderful, adventurous life waiting for each one of us. But it's not just going to fall on us. And to be honest, we can't just pray it into existence. Very often when we pray, what happens is God shows us something to do. I don't want you to forget that. We're partners with God. He has a part and we have a part. We cannot do his part and he will not do our part. So we have to be ready to be active and to be obedient and do the things that God asks us to do. Fear is a factor in everybody's life. But God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind and a spirit, the Amplified Bible says, of discipline and self-control. Well, we know that fear comes first to our mind, and then when we receive fearful thoughts, they begin to affect our emotions. So fear can make you shake, can make you nervous. All kinds of lies come to our mind. You can actually feel so so weak and incapable that you're not sure that you can put one foot in front of the other. But that spirit is not from God. And many people spend their whole life running from things that they're afraid of. Or maybe as you become a believer in God and you learn that you can pray, you spend a lot of your time praying that God will take the fears away. God help me not to be afraid. Take away the fear. Take away the fear. Well, I learned something about 25 years ago that was a little bit of a new way to look at fear. And I learned it through a story that I read about a woman who had been controlled all of her life by fear. She wouldn't drive. She wouldn't go out at night. She basically was trapped inside of her house, was just afraid of absolutely everything. And she was a, was a Christian. She was a believer. She was talking one day with a Christian friend and... Uh, moaning, complaining, murmuring, which we're all pretty good at, about all these fears that she had in her life. Well, I'm just so afraid. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. I'd love to do this, but I'm afraid. I'd love to drive, but I'm afraid. I'd love to go out at night, but I'm afraid. And her friend just looked at her and gave her one little piece of advice. Well, why don't you just do it afraid? <laughs> See, the thing is, is when God tells us fear not, or if you take like, Joshua chapter 1, when he was called to finish what Moses had started. How would you like to have that in front of you, to take over Moses' job? Uh, and just several times, just in the first chapter, God tells him not to fear. Be bold, courageous, don't fear. And the only reason why God ever gives us in the Scripture for not fearing is, for I am with you. <laughs> fear not, for I am with you. And in 1 John 4, the Bible teaches us that perfect love casts out fear. Well, that perfect love is talking about the perfect love that Christ has for us. And so when we know how much he loves us, you know if somebody loves you that they're not going to let you get hurt. They're going to take care of you. And even if you go through something that's difficult, they're going to work it out for your good. Then you can begin to live on the other side of fear. But no matter how old you get or how many scriptures you know, or how much experience you have in life, there's going to be times when fear is going to come against you. So the thing to learn is to feel fear is one thing. To be afraid is another. We can feel a lot of things, but we don't have to be what we feel.